Alright, I'm speeding. Uh, so, suddenly, tell, first of all, what's like your, uh, your, your title? You oh. can say. <laughs> uh, my title here is I'm the owner. Started this company about uh, five years ago. Alright, just so I could have your name, say your first name, last name, and then okay. your uh, title. Oh, my name's Jeff Hunt. I'm the owner of this company, Lobster Port Trap Company, and uh, LP Fishing Supply. And uh, how'd you get started? Uh, how'd you get into fishing? I got into fishing when I was a kid, um, like every every kid, I suppose, every every adult. <laughs> um, started fishing uh, at the local pond, Perry's Pond, outside of uh, Glen Ellen, Illinois, and I remember riding my bike there and having fun on the weekends and after school or whenever we could. And then uh, when I moved out here, I worked in restaurants and had a friend that uh, was actually a commercial fisherman, so. Uh, he brought me aboard on my uh, two weeks off and uh, liked it so much that I was had an opportunity to join his uh, team, his crew full time. So that's how I got started in the commercial side of it and kind of renewed my interest in, in getting out on the water and, and uh, being out there as much as possible. Alright. Uh, more of the overall fish, are you, so you're, you worked as a commercial fisherman, right? Yeah, I worked for, as a commercial fisherman for a while, uh, as a deckhand. Uh, on a lobster boat, and uh, we also did some. Uh, uh, we did. We were a light boat for the squid fishery up in uh, Pedro and out at uh, Catalina Island. All right, all right. All right. This is. Uh, you might not know how to answer this, but uh, how would you explain fishing to be a hard sport in a way? How would fishing be a hard sport? Yeah. yeah. I think uh, I think it seems to be one of those things where one of those activities where you know you can put as much time into it or or uh, as much money into it as you want and there's always something new there's always something different um, I think like music uh, if you're really into something it's uh, probably the the money would be the hard part out of it because um, you can really let yourself go and, and uh, really get invested deep into it um, uh, as far as uh, like skill level being hard, there's always some really cool things coming up and you really challenge yourself into learning new techniques or learning new styles. Uh, maybe it's a new fishery altogether or a different style of fishing, whether it's inshore or offshore or inland uh, on the lakes and rivers. So there's a lot of, is, there's a big broad area of fishing that when you challenge yourself, it could be hard or it could be enjoyable, it could be both. Uh, so yeah, I think, um, you can make it as hard as you want or as easy as you want. Uh, and more specific in terms of just actually catching a fish. How hard, for catching I'm a fish? I'm saying <laughs> the, the, uh, the diff <clears throat> difficulty of actually catching a fish. Like the, the process of like coming to a brand new type of environment you haven't been around. The process of learning how to fish. I think um, you really have to set yourself up for learning how to fish into a new area. Uh, if you're fishing for muskie, it's a lot different than if you're fishing uh, for um, like catfish or crappie. Uh, a little bit more, you need a little bit more patience when you're fishing for muskie. Um, you definitely have to have the right gear. <laughs> uh, for for a lot of the lake fishing or river fishing, it's uh, also another patience uh, fishery uh, activity. Um, but that's really uh, something that uh, I think most people find enjoyable is is uh, being out there and, and doing your own thing. Um, catching a fish uh, that could be hard, I don't know. Um, I think uh, I think maybe a bigger fish uh, or an, uh, a tackle mismatch might be you know hard, but uh, if you do get it in, it's definitely very enjoyable. All right, all right. Now to move on to <laughs> Chad. Uh, how did you first meet Chad, and how did you get involved with him? I saw Chad at a lot of the uh, uh, fishing club meetings, uh, the San Diego Anglers Club. I know he's been at the uh, Rod and Reel Club um, of San Diego. He's been at uh, the Taco Tuesdays up in uh, Fountain Valley with uh, Sergio and the um, Anglers Chronicles. And uh, it seems like for a stretch there, every time I was doing some of the raffles, I always ended up winning a hookup baits. So that really got me interested in it. And uh, Chad and Jojo are very approachable. Um, it was really uh, kind of a nice, uh, easy relationship to get into. 
Uh, we just talked about uh, how he got started and where he got his motivations for creating the, uh, the hookup baits. And uh, I think one of those things where being on the front line, you really get that opportunity to uh, develop and test, um, do some research, uh, tweak it a little bit, get exactly how you want it. And it seems like uh, he's gone through that process and spent a lot of time uh, so it shows his dedication to fishing and uh, what, what he wants to put out there that uh, everyone can kind of kind of get into it. All right. And um, <coughs> how did he, uh, how did basically how did your baits end up in or his baits end up in your store? Uh, we approached uh, Jojo and, uh, and Chad to get the baits in our store. We're a very new store. We've only been uh, doing the sport fishing side of it for about uh, six months. So in November, it seemed like a natural partnership to see if they would be interested in coming on up and taking a look at our store and seeing if the, seeing how they would fit in. Um, we're also in North County, so we have a good opportunity to get out to inshore fishing, offshore fishing, and a lot of uh, the nice lakes up here like uh, Lake Dixon and uh, Wolfert. And those have been some, uh, some big producing areas. All right. And, uh What's so, uh, I guess, revolutionary about his baits? Uh, I think what's revolutionary about the bait is it's combining a, a jig head and a, and a tube bait, uh, some plastics, and really it just uh, gives you that good, uh, that good movement in the water. And, and uh, I think um, if you can get a fish to bite on something that you're not even actively doing, that is, uh, that's probably the biggest innovation. And what I mean by that is, once you throw the bait out there like you would a live bait, uh, a live uh, um, fish or a worm or something like that, uh, as it's kind of doing its thing and just getting to where it needs to go, that's uh, most of the time that's where it gets hit is on the way down. So I think that's <laughs> that kind of uh, innovation and, and, uh, and uh, development is pretty amazing. All right. And uh, why do you think Chad is right for his position right now? Uh, Chad, um, as far as uh, promoting his product, is uh, it's an amazing partnership. Um, he's got a great staff. He's got a great uh, uh, office staff. He's got uh, uh, everybody that I met in the organization has been amazing. Uh, he's a true testimonial to how well the products work. Um, he's always uh, always out on the water, uh, either testing or, or uh, practicing or getting ready for a tournament or being in a tournament. Um, I think one of the coolest things that uh, that rings uh, from any of our past conversations is that his goal in 2016 was to catch 100 different kinds of fish on one style of bait, and uh, to be able to do that is quite an achievement, quite an accomplishment. Um, I haven't even caught 100 species on anything, on uh, on uh, any kind of combination, but to do it on one one bait all around the country, up in Mex or up in Canada, down in Mexico, pretty pretty unique, pretty cool. All right. Let's see if I can think of anything on the spot question line. No, I think we're, yeah, I think it was good. All right. All good. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat>